How's it going? My name is Zach Tomlinson. I'm a jump rope teacher through Parks and Rec, and today we're going to learn three new jump rope tricks. Now, the only prerequisites to these tricks are that you're able to do either a basic single bounce or double bounce, which are just like this. Single bounce, you jump once for every time the rope goes around once, and double bounce, you jump twice for every time the rope goes around once. If you want to pause the video and review your single bounces and double bounces for a second, feel free to, because right now we're going to get into our first trick, which is going to be called a push-up. Now, though it's called a push-up, you don't actually need to go all the way down into your push-up when you do it. It's going to look like this. So that's going to be done in four jumps. First jump, you're going to jump over the rope and you're going to land squatted all the way down. So jump, squat, one. Now for two, your feet are gonna kick back. So two, three, your knees are gonna come back in. And four, you're gonna jump up and pull the rope across the ground, grabbing your handles on the ground with you. Up. So let's do that a little bit faster. One, jump and squat. Two, feet out. Three, knees in. Four, jump up and jump over the rope. Sorry, let's do it all together. Ready? One, two, three, this is a really good trick for if you want to do a jump rope based workout or you're just in the middle of a nice combination and you want to throw it in there. So same things with the single bounces. If you want to pause and work on this for a little bit before we get into the next one, feel free to because now we're about to start our second trick. This is going to be a rope wrap and it's going to look like this. So what we're going to do for this trick is the rope's going to start behind us. We're going to swing it all the way around our head. It's gonna land in front, and we're gonna stop it here for a second. We're gonna take one arm, and we're gonna cross it and touch it to our other shoulder. Now we're gonna turn the rope forwards once, and now it's wrapped on our arm. Now we're gonna cross all of this over to the other side of our body, and we're gonna swing it forwards again. And then up over our head, and then jump. If you're having a hard time of thinking which way is forward with the rope, Imagine which way a car wheel would roll to go towards you. So it would have to roll this way to go over there. And then we're good. Again, feel free to pause it. You know the whole drill now. We're about to get into our last trick. This one's going to be a rope release. So you're going to let go of one of your handles in the process of this. We're gonna start with our rope behind us. And it's gonna look like this. Now, with this release, you might need to get a little bit more room or just be very aware of your surroundings. What we're gonna do for this, ropes behind us, you're gonna jump, and as you jump over it, you're gonna let go of one of your handles and throw it behind you. Now ropes behind us. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna pretend like we're bowling that way. We're gonna roll it across the floor and pull it up and catch it. Then our ropes in front of us, we're gonna jump over it. And there we're good to go. Now to go over everything one more time real quick, we really quickly talked about double bounces, single bounces. So single bounces, double bounces. Then we talked about a push-up where it's four jumps. One, two, three, four. Then we did our arm wrap. So you touch one hand to the other shoulder, keep it rolling forwards, cross the body, undo. There we're good. Then we have the one, you jump over, let go. Then roll forwards, catch jump and we're good to go hope you have fun with those have a great time practicing be careful of your space you got this